Bonnie Raitt is our concert for tonight on Monterey on Tonight, and this guy has <laughs> been here before. And I always use this tagline. I love doing this. Luke Martin is no relation to Dean Martin, and he's no relation to Steve Martin. He's just Luke Martin. I'm my own Luke, and uh, uh, I'm happy to have those guys yeah. in, in the same business. That's right, yeah. and he is a performer. He's a singer. He's a song and dance man. I saw him over at the Carmel <laughs> Foundation. He knocked it out of the park with his straw hat and his cane, and he was doing Fred Astaire and <laughs> singing like you can't believe. And when are you going to be performing again so folks can come and see you? Well, I have a couple more gigs at the Carmel Foundation. They like that one so much. Yeah, oh, yeah. You filled the hall. I mean, I, I had a hard time finding a seat. And then we got you up front somehow. Yeah, well, at the end, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, get, I came up close to the front. But that's where I met Allie McDaniel. Yeah. Uh, and we had a great chat uh, because the chair vacated that was next to me. And I got to meet Allie. And I didn't know, she's going to be a guest on this show, I didn't know until I was sitting there talking to her that she was married to the chief pilot for Howard Hughes. That's right, right. How about that? I mean, come on. I've been around uh, in her uh, circle for she's a great 20 lady. years. Yeah. yeah. Her and yeah. JJ, and he's yeah. a pistol too. Anyway, Luke brought yeah. some video tonight. Dylan, let's see what you got for us to show to our audience tonight about this song and dance man, Luke Martin. Roll it. Right. Now here. You make me feel there are songs to be sung, bells to be rung, and a wonderful thing to be flung. Well, he transferred these, and that one cut his head off. Yeah. We can't show that. No, no don't, you, don't. Your don't, head's don't, not on your don't, body. Don't do that one. No. All yeah. right, let's go to the next one, Dylan. Okay. Because we can't use that one. we got one. Girl from Ipanema here. All right. Let's see what this one looks like. More videos of Luke. A couple of different... See what he's doing? Um, this guy <laughs> goes out into the community and entertains. And the guy that was playing the piano, I it's know. It's Michael it. Martinez. Yeah, yeah, he's the guy that's at the end of, he, he, on the way to Big Sur he, for the marathon. He does a Big Sur marathon. He's right. got the big grand piano out mm -hmm. there on the highway. And Michael was a guest on the show. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he was accompanying Luke. I mean, this guy gets the best talent to back him up that you can find on the peninsula. I got to introduce you to, to TJ Kunster. Please do. Because he was the one that uh, was the musical director for Glenn Campbell for 35 years. He's been a guest. And he's local? Oh, yeah. yeah. He moved here okay. from Dallas, and his daughter owns Pops and Hiss in well, the PG world. Yeah, let, let, let's do that. Let's take care of that one. Yeah. yeah. All right. What um, else have we got? Some well, more? Well, there's another... The next uh, venue yeah. is back to uh, Carmel Foundation right, let's for see. the last half. But they didn't cut off your head on that one. No, I hope. no, All that's right, the last see. part of that. So let's see that one, Dylan. Show. <laughs> And 
what I love about Luke, he's a professional entertainer. You started years ago down there I, in I Hollywood. Did. I did. Uh, I think it was 1976. My goodness. 1977. You were, you, were, you were in the mix with all these big-time entertainers. You worked with Jerry Lewis. And Debbie Reynolds. And Debbie Reynolds. My goodness gracious. And when you came back to Monterey, that look at him. And you, <laughs> there he is. There's Luke. And he, he came back to Monterey and he got in... in Involved in this community, Theater. and you are yeah, and you are doing some great things now, Luke. For seniors, you go over to these retirement communities and you entertain those people, and they love you. They absolutely love you. They they're getting a kind of a live Broadway or Las Vegas style show. Yeah, I that's think, what you do. Yeah, that's what you do. And uh, it's. So it, it must akin be, to the area. It must be great for you now, with all these years of experience that you've had in the industry and entertaining folks, to do it now here on the Monterey Peninsula. You've got a lot of fans out here <laughs> in this area that love you. I mean, those folks that day that I was at the Carmel Foundation... I think they, st I don't remember, but I'm almost sure, they stood up and gave you a standing ovation. I uh, appreciated that a lot. And uh, uh, the Carmel Foundation is a wonderful place. Isn't it now, great? There was a funny thing that happened about that, though. I almost had to cancel that show Why? Why was that? What happened? I had gotten a uh, serious tooth infection, Ooh. wisdom tooth. Oh, no. And uh, I couldn't even eat. Oh, with uh, those But bad you teeth. didn't cancel the show. You, I, the show must go on. You're one of those guys. Thank you. Yeah. The show must go on. And he was still there entertaining at the Carmel Foundation the day I went over. The I swear, the room mm -hmm. was packed. <laughs> Couldn't find an empty chair to sit down because they knew Luke was coming to entertain. And uh, there was another blessing in that too what was uh, that because when i finally decided i would do it about a day and a half before you were it okay happened, yeah. I, I i was getting okay you were getting i okay. was okay at showtime well you were but you knocked it out of the park but um it took me finding some old antibiotics to, <laughs> <laughs> i swear if i hadn't found those you wouldn't, I wouldn't have, have been done. there and no. i would have showed up and there was <laughs> nobody there to entertain yeah but they knew you were coming well, they I, promoted you. I called one of the one of my friends from the um, Wheels on Meals uh, place, uh, yeah. Sally Griffin Center, and uh, she knew my situation, and she said, "What well, do you need some some gals to call in out of the audience to dance with?" Yeah, and, said, you, yeah. and you did have some. We did. So she yeah. got those people together he, he, in the night before. His show, seriously. Now, if you're out there in TV land and you're local here because he lives here, if you're local and you want to get Luke to entertain at your particular establishment, you get a hold of me because if you give him Luke's name and number, you guys aren't going to write it down. So just go to Gary at KMBYTV.com. That's right. And I'll pass your name and number on to Luke because he is available to come out and entertain. How often do you go out and do these gigs, as they call them, in showbiz? I try to do uh, one or two a week. Good for, for the you. seniors. For this, yeah, they, I know he, yeah. see, he appeals because he's like from the Fred Astaire and Donald O'Connor era. Exactly. Where those guys went out and, you know, did song and dance with the straw hats and the cane and that kind of music. I mean, he he zeroes in and goes back to that time in our society when you were a song and dance man. And you're and still, still doing, doing it. it. Yeah. yeah that's it. Well, see, we said it in harmony. Yeah, yeah. You're All right. <laughs> you're still doing it. My goodness, that's great. And you're still doing this. Jeez, don't tell anybody how old I am. <laughs> I used to do this when I was 22, and now I'm a lot older than that. <laughs> but I'm having so much fun, Luke, and I know you are having fun when you go out and entertain those folks. I do. Because they love you. You can just feel it in the room. And they the, love you. The dancing is really the thing that's keeping the best for my health. Yes, you know? it's the best. Well, how about me? Uh, yeah. Well, this is good for my health, too. I'm on a you. high. 
There you are. I'm on a high. And in fact, I was out at the. I was just telling Danielle, the veterinarian, uh, about when I went over to the Monterey Airport for one of my uh, show hosts, uh, Katie Norman, took her to her flight, and the lady behind the counter at the United Airlines looked at me as we were checking her in. She goes, "Sir, you have an aura around you." Because she has an accent. Mm. I said, an aura? I didn't know I had an aura. What's an aura? <laughs> she says, you have a... A, a, a like, glow. A glow. I said, I, I, I didn't know that. And you, then, and then, no, seriously. Yeah. And tonight, or earlier today, someone said, oh, I know, it was Sharon, the gal that does my makeup for the show. She says, what color was your aura? <laughs> and I said, well, you know what? I got to call Sharon right now. And I mean, I got to call uh, Maruk, that's her name, and ask her. And so I did. And she says, you have a white and blue aura. Mine is lavender. Yours lavender? Yeah, yeah. So you got an aura, too. I do. Maybe it's people that are in show business. I think it's just the fact that we, uh, it makes us happy. Well, it to makes do that. us happy. And, we're, yeah. and we have the energy level. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're having fun. Yes. Aren't you having fun? I sure do. I have. Every time we go anywhere. Any let's go to lunch again. Absolutely. We had fun. We went over to Rosine's and had fun. And I'll tell you, that's what you got to do, folks. Yeah. I, may, I wake up in the morning now, and I thank the Lord for one more day. And then I say, <laughs> no, seriously. Yes, I know. And then I say, Gary, what are you going to do today for fun? What are you going to do tomorrow for fun? Tell me. Uh, I'm going to take the day off. I, oh, I, no. <laughs> no. I, I, I put in a lot of time trying to gather the uh, The video. material for the show. Yeah, yeah that was a yeah. lot of work, huh? Yeah, I'm telling you, the tech is the hardest part. I know. I Did, do we have one more, Dylan, back there? Uh, we do. Yeah. Let's show that last one. Luke. Yeah, this is one with Gennady. Uh, oh, Gennady over at the Mission Ranch, right? Yeah, we did this. Let's, uh, let's put that one on the did screen. this album Dylan. together. Oh, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you guys do this one together? We did, yeah. Get, look at this one, Dylan. Put that up on three. That's a nice album. Oh, it is, yeah. And, and how many tunes on here? Oh, 12. 12, yeah. You I'm make generous. me feel so young. Don't know why. I've got the world on a string. What are you doing the rest of your life? Lullaby of Birdland. I've got you under my skin. Summer me, winter me. Something's coming. The look of love. If I right. were a rich man, corner of the sky and happy tears. My goodness gracious. Happy tears was a song that's not too well known, but it was done by one of our best local uh jazz saxophone players by the okay. name of George Young. All right, let's run that last video of Luke. Dylan, please. Well, it went from the weed drop to Serena Ocean It's very pretty to see in the Rio Yeah. Now, if you're Mexico, ah, Mexico's so hard, don't That's Gennady, yeah. the one and only Gennady. There he is on TV. You know, I, I, I've been trying to get him to come on as a guest, and he, he I think he's shy. He's he's not really that shy once he gets going, yeah, but he's but busy. He, he's, well, I know he's yeah, busy. He, yeah. he he also backs up Debbie Davis at, right. the, uh, at the Cypress Inn. Mm -hmm. and, and then he's at the... Uh, the Mission Ranch about four nights or five nights a week. I no, think. no, actually, it's one night at, uh, oh, at Mission Ranch, yeah, yeah four yeah. nights a week. Four and, nights uh, a week at Mission, then he does uh, uh, Cypress. Cypress with, uh, with for Debbie. one night a week. One yeah. night. And then he does the buffet on yeah, Sundays Sunday. at the Mission Ranch. Right. He's playing piano. Gennady, he's done three scores for Clint. Actually, he's done about a dozen. Well, it only says on his bio three. Yeah, okay. Okay. Anyway, I, remember I have to run rate. now to give the floor to that young man back there, Luke, yeah. because he chooses three videos mm -hmm. from the new artists. So we have to give the new artists a platform 
But I'm so happy that you brought me on because there are a lot of those senior uh, centers that are they looking are for looking shows. for you. Absolutely, and we'll send this to them. We'll do it, and yeah. I'll tell you what we got to get. Uh, we got to get Luke in at all of these venues around the peninsula to come and entertain. He does a fantastic show. Standing room only at the <laughs> Carmel Foundation. It works out that way. Thank I you, appreciate buddy. it. And it's, Thanks for being here. It's nice to have you. Uh, okay, we're going to put uh, Dylan now on the air. This is his segment. He has a little intro that Jack Peterson did for him. And then he's going to give us the three new videos by the new artist. Dylan, take it away. 